So as our app is successfully installed or deployed on Ubuntu server via DigitalOcean, it's time to have the queue worker on our Laravel app. In the local host, we just run PHP artisan queue work, but this will not the case in the server. In the server, you need to have a service called supervisor. That's right, supervisor. But what this supervisor will do, it will continuously run that command. So firstly, we need to install it. So let's see how we can install. Before going to the installation process, I highly recommend you to go to bitfumes.com where I have written each and every step with the codes you need on this uh, episode or even on this whole the course of deploying Laravel to Ubuntu server. You can see this course having seven blocks or seven articles and we need this setting up the queue worker. Okay, so let's click here and to install we need to run this command. So let's run this command. So here we have this command. Let's run it and it will asking for continuous yeah we want to continue okay it's super easy supervisor is installed let's see the next command okay so we have installed the supervisor but we have to create a new configuration file for our laravel queue how we will do that let's first see so let's go to cd inside etc folder and because we have installed the supervisor we can see we have a folder or a directory inside this so if I list out content I will see supervisor directory so let's go inside supervisor supervisor and inside this we have conf.d directory here in this conf.d directory we are going to put our configuration file so again let's cd inside conf.d you can just cd etc slash supervisor slash conf dot c so we have to firstly create a new file to create a new file you can use this command sudo vim etc supervisor conf dot d q worker dot conf so let's just paste this but because i'm already on this directory i don't have to say here all these things so I can delete this or you can just go to root of this user and run this. So what this command will do, this command run as a sudo, it's going to create a new file called q-worker.conf. .conf is important, but this can be any name you want. So let's just hit enter. And yeah, we are on Vim. And now we have to give the configurations. So what the configurations we have to give here? whole of the configuration is written in this article i have told you so just copy this from here and paste it and what it will do let's just see one by one so firstly it's not properly pasted and i have missed something so i have to say here program colon q hyphen worker okay so this has to be important the file name we have given that has to be exactly same here and this is done we don't have to anything else so let's just give here okay and let's first understand what every line do this is going to define the program name that is q worker and the same is here process name process name is also the same and now the actual command Command is php artisan q work. Yeah, that's okay. But where this artisan is inside our Ubuntu server, it's inside var www html folder. And inside that, we will going to run artisan. So php, then artisan q work. Super easy. Then we have to say auto start. Yeah, true. Every time we want to auto start, auto restart also. And the username root number of process. So it will it will process eight times any uh, job if it is not successful on the first attempt. Then some of the logs are written on this uh, project worker dot log file. So this is good. So press escape colon wq and hit enter 
it is saved now so let's see what the next process okay so we have done and we have understand these lines so we need to read read okay so what this mean we have done a new configuration for supervisor but we have not told supervisor to read that so we have to say sudo supervisor and supervisor ctl it's like command line tool okay so ctl supervisor ctl then re read and you can see it says q worker is available it's now available it says available this means it's not included in the service so to include in the service we have to say sudo supervisor ctl update same thing but here come update and now add it to the process group so this means it's added to the process group but how we will check that our q worker is working properly or not for that let's just clone that repository that deploy repository and create a new q thing so i will open a folder and in this folder i will going to copy so i will say git clone and all these things and let's say deploy so it's now cloning each and everything okay passphrase that's good and it's now here so if i say cd deploy so let's open this project in sublime so subl and here it we have so let's go to web.php file and here i will create a new route and that route will be like get of check q okay and let's give a closer and here i will say uh, firstly mail to bitfumes uh, sarthak at bitfumes.com and then we have to say send a new test mail and it's done then just going to return working okay and we have to create this test mail so let's go here and i'll say php artisan make mail and test mail which is going to create it on app mail test mail and here we have to make sure that we implement should queue so we have to make this as a should queue and now let's just going to give welcome page as the email so we just need to have these things at the top use these things at the top so mail is here test mail is here and now everything we have to push on github so now we have to firstly add everything to staging area then git commit with a flag of q worker and that should be worker and then we have to say git push and this will push everything to our github so give the ssh key password and yes we have done everything now let's go to our server here what i will do uh, you can see i am on the base user folder and let's go to var www html and here we have to say git pull we have pushed to github now we have to pull everything and if this is the case permission denied then use sudo sudo and then we have to give the password for this user and now it's going to get everything this means if we try to open routes slash web dot php file you can see our check queue is here and let's now quit from here that means escape colon and queue and now we have to create the queue table so php artisan queue table and it's created migration is created and this time php artisan migrate so we don't have any jobs table but after this we will see we have jobs table on our server database so this means if i now go to safari and here i will say check queue hit enter ah it's taking time and it's something 
error. That's because we have not configured our .env file. So let's say sudo vim .env and k and now we have to configure firstly the q driver you can see q driver is sync but we don't want sync one we want database and then obviously the mail trap username and password username is that and password is this then tls and wq okay quit saving so this means if i now go refresh this instantly we get working and if i now go to jobs table it has the job and it's not attempting this means we have to restart the supervisor so sudo supervisor ctl reload okay and this is reloaded and one thing more we have to say supervisor uh, that should be like sudo service supervisor restart okay everything is set up so once more refresh and we should get one more here and you can see the attempt is one this means if i keep refreshing it's not here and now go to chrome and see here we have the test mail which we have sent so let's delete everything and once more try here and refresh this yes it's working so wait for just a few seconds and five four three two one and mail is here so q worker is successfully working on our ubuntu server so if you have learned something from bitfumes and you want to donate just go and become patreon even one dollar a month will be a great help and if not just subscribe to this channel because here level knowledge never ends and don't forget to share these video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing called level so we will meet in the new series somewhat and till then goodbye